welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily if you're new here and welcome to my What I Got For Christmas 2018. Now I've done these probably for the last like three years, maybe four you know. I don't know but I will link them down below so you can check them out but if you are new here please do make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get into showing you what I got for Christmas. Now there is also a giveaway in today's video there are some really cool bits I'm giving away, one of which is a YSL card holder, I've got some Beats headphones, everything that is in the giveaway will be in the description box down below, there is a ton of makeup, things like that, it is super simple to enter, just make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a massive thumbs up, you follow me on Instagram and you're interacting with my stuff, you're liking my posts, you're commenting, and I'm going to pick the winner of the giveaway on New Year's Day, so super soon, so on the 1st of January, maybe, hopefully you will be winning all this cool stuff. But without wasting any time, let's get into my What I Got For Christmas video. I'm gonna start with my stocking because that's how we start a day on Christmas. We start by opening our stockings. These are downstairs in our fireplace and they're always full of really awesome goodies. Now I did vlog this, so you might have seen some of the bits and bobs in my Christmas Day vlog, which will be up on Boxing Day. I'll link it down below if it's already up. And the first thing I got in my stocking were these. They're a pair of socks from H&M. They're actually Disney socks, I didn't realise. Then my mum was like, Emily, look. She's like, they're Dalmatian ones and then Mickey ones, which is so cute because I didn't actually bring fluffy socks with me to my mum's house. So it means that I've got some fluffy socks to wear around the house today, which is brilliant. I also got one of these, which is a body silicone cleansing brush. I don't really get this. Like, I don't know what it is. It says, use it with your favourite body wash. Okay, so what I think you do this, like... A, a sponge inside it you pop kind of your favorite body wash in there and then you wash your body like this and apparently it's just really really good to wash your body with I thought it was really cool next up in uh, the stocking we got uh, I got 70 hair bubbles it's a pack of 70 hair bubbles this is brilliant for me because I'm always losing mine I'm always moaning that I don't have a hair bubble and these are the ones that I use so I was very grateful for that and then we get onto some food is there ever not food in your stocking? I don't know about you, but there's always food in my stocking. Let me know if there is in yours. And I got this milk chocolate reindeer from Lynn. This is like one of my favourite chocolates. I think these are great. This will last all of like 10 seconds. And then I got some exfoliating gloves. These are from Soap and Glory. These are so handy. I actually really needed some of these. So I pulled these out and I was like, oh, thank gosh. And then finally I got some mini Rolos, which is so fitting because... I have made Rolo brownies about four times so far this season, so I'm guessing that I got these because of the obsession with Rolo brownies. Moving on to my actual presents, I'm gonna leave like my main presents until the end, just because I feel like they're the most exciting. And well, you might not find them exciting. I think they are. So I got some books this year. I love reading and I just don't ever buy myself books unless someone's like recommended it to me and I'll like go on Amazon and order it. So I just like my mom grabbed me some ones that she thought I'd like. So this is the first one. This is called Notes on a Nervous Planet by Matt Haig. Now Matt Haig wrote a book called oh, Reasons to Stay Alive, which uh, everyone's hyping over right now. Apparently it's brilliant, but apparently this is also incredible. So this says, like the blurb on the back is, what if the way we live was engineered to make us unhappy? And what if there was something we could do about it? Which just honestly just triggers me so much. I find all that stuff so interesting. So I can't wait to read that. The next book that I got was Happy by Fern Cotton and this is just all about, she talks about her struggle with mental health and depression and how she dealt with it and how she actually makes herself happy, like what makes her happy, her tips and tricks, how she stays happy and things like that and I just think that's a really cool book. I'm, I, I'm really excited to kind of read her story but then read how she dealt with it because I really like it when people give me solutions. I think that don't come to me with a problem, come to me with a solution. I think that's what that just sums up this book which is brilliant. I also got some food, I opened this, I was like, I don't get it, like what is it? And then I opened it and I was like, oh yeah, all right. <laughs> it is full of Reese's peanut butter cups. Fun fact about me, I love Reese's and I didn't like peanut butter until I was about 14, 15. I was just like, ugh, peanut butter, gross, but I never actually tried it. And then I tried Reese's peanut butter cups and they are one of, well, I don't really eat chocolate or sweets, but if I'm in the mood for something, this is what I go for and they are the best if you put them in the freezer. Oh, they're so good. Okay, I'll go with the next thing that's like Reese's themed also. 
So I got this milkshake maker, I, and um, I saw this in Tesco with my mom. And we had this rule this year that we weren't going to buy each other like unnecessary things. And I think this kind of just classes something so unnecessary. But I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And she was like, I had to. So it's just like a milkshake kind of like glass. It's not a glass, but it's like a metal cup. And you get a long spoon, you get Reese's peanut butter cups. And it's just, I think it's really cool. Like, I just, it's one of them gimmicky things, but I think it's gonna make a brilliant milkshake. I'm very excited. From my big sister, I got this. So this is a porter scent, which is basically you have your own perfumes and then you pump them into this and you can spray yourself. It says 120 times, which is awesome. So I'm always traveling and one of the things I really struggle with is luggage allowance as in like weight wise, not necessarily size, just weight. And I don't want to be taking a massive like 100 mil perfume with me for two days. So this is brilliant. I'm very excited. I'm actually going away in like a few days. So I'm going to take this with me and I can't wait. I just think this is like such a cool present. It's such a me present. And I opened it and I was like, this is going to change my life. This is going to be great. I also got some more Instax film for my camera. This is the square one. So I have the Fujifilm Instax Mini and I also have the Instax Square. And I mean, I love my Mini, but I just feel like the square is so cool and it's still new to me. So I'm still excited, like crazy excited about it. Whereas with my Mini, I'm like, oh, like love it. But with the square, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to use it all the time. So yeah, this is really, really cool. I'm very happy to have received these and I'm excited to use them. And there's 20 in here, which is going to last me a while, well, hopefully last me a while, if uh, I'm sensible. I got some English breakfast tea. I'm such a tea person. I feel like I don't really talk about this on my channel ever, like who's going to talk about tea. But I love English breakfast tea, so my mom got me English breakfast tea tea bags, and this is just supposed to be, this is by the brand Char Brew, which is supposed to be like a really, really great tea brand. So I'm excited to try these. I just love tea, like whenever we go out for like dinner, everyone's having dessert and I'm just sat there with a cup of tea. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have more Reese's. Yeah, even more Reese's, these are the miniature peanut butter cups. I got some Prosecco jellies, these are from my neighbors. Another book, so this is called One Day in December, and I think I'm gonna take these two away with me to read. The blurb of this like got me. So it says, Laurie's pretty short, sure love at first sight doesn't exist. After all, life isn't a scene from the movies, is it? But then, through a misted up bus window one snowy December day, she sees a man who she knows instantly is the one. Their eyes meet, there's a moment of pure magic, and then her bus drives away. Laurie thinks she'll never see the boy from the bus again, but at their Christmas party a year later, her best friend Sarah introduces her to the new love of her life, who is of course the boy from the bus. Determined to let him go, Laurie gets on with her life, but what if fate has other plans? And that was just like me hooked. It was like, which one do I read first? And then I read the blurb. I was like, well, we know what's coming with me. So I'm very excited to read that. I got a couple other books as well, but not like reading books. I got this one pound meals, from uh, my mom, this is by an Instagram chef, apparently, she told me. And she was like, I thought it'd make a cool video. And I was like, oh, that's so lovely. But I just love cooking. I, like, most years I'll get a recipe book just because cooking is my thing. I love it, I spend so much time in my kitchen. And my, my collection of cookbooks is like, it's growing, it really it excites me. So yeah, something like this, I, I could just spend hours flicking through and like planning recipes. But like so much of this just looks so good, like the ultimate one pound roast, like that's so cool. And plus I'm like, I live alone, so I cook for one. So doing it on a budget is brilliant. I also got this book, which is called the Where To Go When book from Lonely Planets. And I travel a lot. If, you, if you're new to my channel, basically, I love to travel, I love makeup, I love clothes, and I love baking and cooking, and I love music. I think that's everything. There's probably a bit more to me than that, but just to summarize. <laughs> so yeah, my mom got me this because I, the amount of times I Google where to go away in December or where to go away in September. So she's got me this book of places to go and then it's cool because she was saying it's got places to go when you actually get to the place. It says, where should you go next? With more than 360 suggestions for destinations around the world and the best time of year to experience them. This book will help you plan a lifetime of perfect trips. Features, diagrams, expert insights, and gorgeous photography. And I just can't wait to read this. I haven't opened it yet, obviously, because I've got to get it back to London. I don't want to damage it, so I don't want to take the plastic off. But I am so excited just to sit and read through this and just plan some trips this year. 2019, well, next year. 2019 is going to be, for me, a brilliant year. I've decided. I've decided, like, 
last week I was like, no, no, no. None of this like, oh my gosh, it's a new year, freaking out. No, no, no. Next year's gonna be cool and I'm very excited to make some stuff happen and I'm gonna use this to help me. The next thing that I got is this. So these are the post poo drops from Aesop and I just wanted these as like a kind of, fe not a feature piece in my house, but like they're nice to have. So basically what it is, you have them in like your guest bathroom and then if someone goes to the toilet and they're like, oh no, they have these to put in the toilet, which I think is a really nice touch just to have in your bathroom. And I just think it's cool. And I've seen people do it, like my friends have them and I was just like, that's a really cool concept and it looks cute and it's like, shows, you know, you're thoughtful, you care. So I think these are really, really sweet and I put them on my Christmas list. My mum was like, what? And I was just like, what? I actually got a couple of makeup bits from Beauty Bay and this is exciting just because my parents don't like buy me makeup or anything ever just because it's kind of like my thing so it was really nice to get bought some makeup. This is the Fiery 16 colour palette from Beauty Bay. I'm excited to have a look at this just because I'm really into like, oh wow, like warm brown kind of tones. Look at that. That is just me in a palette. That's so exciting. Oh, I can't wait to use that, wow. And they also gave me a brush set, which is really cool, just because it's an eye brush set, and I lack eye brushes so much. And I come and do, like, I try to do eye looks, and I'm like, oh, how, do, how do I do this? So I feel like these brushes are going to get well used and well loved. And this is actually really travel friendly. Like, look at that. That's really cool. I really like this bag, Beauty Bay. That's very, very cool. Thank you so much. I got a couple of lipsticks, which are really sweet. I don't actually know what these look like. I feel like these are going to be quite chunky. Oh no, they're very thin and tall. <gasps> oh wow. This is a very Emily colour. And they also gave me a bubbling face mask and a black coal liner. My little sister actually made this for me, which is so, so cute. It's like a peg. And she stuck some arms on with like the, you know, like the ice cream, ice lolly sticks with like, you know, ice lolly sticks. And then she's just tied some string around it, popped some hair on and drawn a face. I think it's pretty cool. I love it. And then my parents also gave me a 20 pound Starbucks card just because I go to Starbucks too much. And I'm always moaning that I'm spending too much money at Starbucks and I'm not going to do it anymore. And then I'm like, oh, I really want a Starbucks. And then I'm sad. So, yeah, my mom got me a £20 Starbucks gift card so I can treat myself, which I think was so thoughtful. Because if she'd given me money, I would have just saved it. So that's really nice. Following on, I also got some syrups, like coffee syrup. So there's a caramel, vanilla, hazelnut, gingerbread, and chocolate cookie, which I think is really, really cool. I actually really like coffee as well as tea. Not as much as tea, but I drink it quite a lot. But I, like I said... Starbucks, but I make it at home as much as I can. So these are gonna be brilliant to have at my home. And this is actually like really exciting to me. I don't know, I know some of you are gonna be a bit like, but this is actually really exciting. I also got a dressing gown. Every year I get a new dressing gown. It's always a white dressing gown just because I love wearing white dressing gown. I couldn't find a white one when I went and bought a new one recently, as in like at my in London. So I had to have a pink one, but now at home I have a white one which is very exciting. So this is from Asda and mum always gets me the ones from Asda just because Asda have the best dressing gowns. Like I know it sounds so silly and you're like, what's well, a random place? But I go into like M&S, John Lewis, things like that, and they just don't have a plain white one that feels nice. And then you go into Asda and it's brilliant. From my big sis, I got this Converse top, which I asked for, and how cool is this? So it is, I got mine a medium, and <laughs> she was like, are you sure you want a medium? And it's massive. I was like, yes, please. So it's just yellow and black, and then on the back it says Converse with 08, and I just think this is so, so cool. Um, I don't know, I just love stuff like this, it's very like varsity style, I would just wear it with a pair of shorts and like Converse or Docs, and this is actually really my style, which I know will surprise a lot of you, but I don't remember how much this was actually, obviously I like picked this out on my own, but I just feel like this is one of them pieces of clothing that I will never get rid of, I will keep forever and just keep wearing and just feel super cool every time I wear it, I really wish they did like different colours, that would be cool, but I mean I've got one, one is plenty and I'm very very happy with it, this is easily one of my favorite presents this year. Following on, we have my main presents, which is very exciting. Gonna start with the bigger one, as in like the larger one, and it is Moon Boots. I am actually potentially, it's not confirmed, going skiing with my dad this year, and I wanted some Moon Boots, and mom, when mom came to me and was like, what do you want for Christmas? I was like, 
this is perfect. And so funny, by chance, one of my best friends also got moon boots, which was so weird. I messaged her and I was like, it was just really strange. But she got like brown ones, I got the white ones, and these were actually reduced on ASOS to 52, 56 pounds, I think it was, down from 80, which is so cool, such a big discount. I will link them just in case, I'm pretty sure they'll still be discounted. And yeah, I just got these so I can wear them when I'm not skiing and just feel really cool. I got white just because I feel like, they, they had navy and they had black, and I was like, oh, I could go for black, but I just feel like this is a bit more out there, a bit... A bit more fun just because it's bright white, but it was really hard with the sizing because these come into like, it's like a 3 to 5 or then like a 6 to 9. I got the 6 to 9 just because I'm going to be wearing a ton of socks, but I'm a size 5 and a half, so I'm literally the only size that isn't included in them two sizing brackets. Typical. And finally, my other main present was a Google Home. So you all know I have a Google Home Mini. Well, if you watch my vlogs if you or if you follow my channel, I have a Google Home Mini, which I love to bits. And I recently got the Philips Hue lights installed in my place. So I just go, hey Google, turn on the lights in my bedroom. Or hey Google, turn the lights on in my dressing room. However, my Google Home Mini is in my living room and my bedroom's like the other side of my like, apartment. So I wanted the Google Home to have just in like my, my entranceway so I can walk in and be like, hey Google, turn the lights on in the hallway and then you can hear it, like the, it'll be able to hear me from my bedroom, my dressing room, then I'll have my Mini in my kitchen and my living room, which works perfectly. I recommend Google Home completely. It is compatible with Spotify, with YouTube, with so much. Google Play, oh, it's got them all here. Look, Spotify, Google Play, Nest, Netflix, YouTube, like I can go, hey Google, play YouTube on the TV and the TV will turn on, it'll play YouTube. I can go, hey YouTube, play like, I don't know, Orange is the New Black on Netflix and it'll turn the TV on and put Orange is the New Black on. It's so cool, it's so unnecessary, but it's so cool. So yeah, I'm really, really happy about this. I am over the moon that I got given this and I can't wait to use it. So that is everything that I got for Christmas. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I'm so grateful and I'm also grateful that I'm able to give back to you this year and do the giveaway for you. So make sure you check that out in the description box and please enter if you fancy a chance at winning. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please give it a massive thumbs up, like I said, and I will see you in another video, probably very, very soon. Bye. <laughs>